Hello everyone, welcome to the next session of videos how to draw DC. And in today's videos we are going to talk about another isometric perspective. Um, and the first one I introduced you was about uh, how to do a isometric perspective, uh, you know, um, from uh, the floor plan. Okay, so you had plan, for example, yes, remember, it was approximately three meters by four. Of course, in the scale, one, two, whatever, okay, you decide what the scale is going to be, it depends on which scale you want to represent the space you're designing. And as you remember, the previous one, we had a bed here, okay, approximately, we had a kind of uh, taboresque uh, stool here around it, and we had kind of, you know, a table here, okay. So, um, of course, there were the doors, and there was kind of a small window, and uh, there was some kind of art object here, painting, whatever. So, uh, as you remember, in the uh, isometric perspective uh, done from the floor plan, it's you choose the angle, okay? I choose always 45 because I think it's the most, uh, most representative, but you can do any angle, uh, angle you want. It's, it's up to you, of course. Just have to remember that if this is three meters and you have high ceiling three meters, you do the same space here and the same space here and then you connect of course because all the lines as you remember in isometric perspective are parallel to each other uh, so in such case you just have you know to do the this of course has to be the same as this one okay and height and the exterior lines so and basically whatever you measure here corresponds with the real measurements to the original is just that is in isometric uh, view. Uh, how it works, as you remember, I extended these uh, lines here, and my stool actually the circle doesn't change in 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 this in this case. It stays to the circle, and if I have uh, uh, legs here, whatever, like this, a bed of course goes the same angle. Everything you know, because we have all the angles go as you choose the angles 45 degree to all the inclinations at 45 degree. Now you take the measurement, is 40 centimeters, whatever, so you measure it, you measure it here as well, and you just simply, you know, extend these lines, of course, and uh, here either you have uh, pillows, you know, um, or you have uh, whatever you want, to, you want to put on the bed. And of course the table, if you want to, uh, you know, um, show in perspective, you just extend lines here, lines there, parallelly of course to this uh, side, and of course 80 centimeters or 70, measure it, make it, the top of the table is here, okay, so basically you have the table, and be, of course if you have painting here, of course the measurements of the painting is exactly as on the, you know, as, 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 it, as, as it is, the only difference is that look, now you know, the, the circle is going to be deformated. How it works, the tangent point doesn't change. It's just vertical axe is going to be, incli going to be uh, in the same um, angle as the walls, so 45 degree. In such case, if you draw the circle here, so this is the same over here, as you remember, uh, this doesn't change, here is this, here is this, so you have perfect actually circle, you know, deformated in, in the isometric perspective uh, from uh, the plan from the floor. Of course, there are doors there and everything, but we don't want to go to the details because this already explained it previously. So now we're going to work on uh, uh, isometric perspective, but uh, done from the elevation plan. So let's say elevation plan you have, you draw the walls, okay, in perspective, of course. Uh, I, I mean, in, as a technical plan with the right size and everything, and in, 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 you know, the scale is also the same. So we have kind of, you know, an elevation plan of one wall. Let's say is this wall here. What do I see in this wall? I see the bed, I see the, I see the chair, okay, uh, sorry, the, the table here, okay with the legs and everything, and I see the tabouret. So what I'm going to do, the chair, the, look, the, the bed is the same measurements, of course, they don't change, if I, if I keep the same scale, of course, you don't have to, but normally you keep the same scale to have better understanding what you're doing. So um, the, the measurements are exact, you know, there are doors somewhere, okay, well, let's say like this, something like this in the behind, which is here, okay. And now uh, we have table, approximately 70 whatever centimeters, 
uh, is even more because if this is 40, there's going to be 90 here. But it doesn't matter. It's just for the purpose to show you how you should do the uh, isometric perspective uh, from the elevation plan. And here we have the, of course, is the, uh, the painting, okay, where is the perfect circle because you see, and always in the elevation plan, the circle don't going to change, okay, it's going to be perfect circle, and also in the floor plan, the church, the circle doesn't change. The, the only way the circle is going to change in the first isometric perspective from when you do the uh, you know, um, you erect the walls and everything, all this element from the uh, floor plan, uh, they stay circular, uh, perfect circles in uh, elevation of the uh, plan of elevation, uh, you know, it's only on this wall, only on this wall, the circle is, is going to be not deformated. But all the other walls, how you do the same thing, I choose 45 degree, 45 degree angles, okay, for the walls. So basically, if I have three meters high ceiling, okay, in three meters wide the room, so those measurements are the same. So after just horizontally, I put line here, of course, and parallel, because everything is parallel. When I get to this point, I have parallel lines. So all these measurements are the same, all this is the same. So basically, you see, I have the walls, you know, those walls. Um, and, but only one, this one, is the elevation plan from which I start. And I have, of course, in the elevation plan, I still for, forgot the tablet here, you know, the, this tool. So let's say the tool is here somewhere. So now, in order to get this done in um, this kind of perspective, uh, starting from the elevation plan, you just go, first I will start with the tablet, with this tool, because it's, you know, like this, I see there's somewhere there, so approximately gets until here, and this is like a perfect rectangle. So I do the rectangle, and I uh, erect here up the lines, so I'm gonna have approximately this kind of height here, so I do like kind of cube here, okay, with the parallel lines and everything, I'm gonna have this kind of cube. Of course, and now I have to look for the middle everywhere, so, tangents points are here, okay, they don't change, it's just that the axe of my circle now is not going to be like here, there is full perfect circle. This circle is going to follow the axe of the floor, so it's 45 degree, and so I also applied here 45 degrees, so if I draw, this is the same like here, just reverse, and this part is the same here and there, so basically I'm going to have, you know, this tool approximately having this kind of form, and of course I have the, 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 the legs and everything. And then the bed now, you see, I have here the height of the bed, so I go with parallel lines here, okay, and how long is the bed? Two meters, whatever, great king size, or whatever it is, and you know, and just get, and I have the bed approximately already, you see, in perspective, of course I can put pillows there, whatever, you know, and I have kind of, you know, in perspective, the pillows. Of course, it could be small uh, window here, you know, let's say this kind of, you know, uh, sous-sol, whatever, underground, the bedroom, whatever, you know, and um, of course, you can have some kind of rack here, uh, you know, to put whatever, everything, all, all the lines, doesn't matter, horizontal and and, um, and the, um, the line uh, uh, in the angle, they all parallel. So it's a very easy perspective to do. You don't have to worry like with the other perspectives to find the vanishing point, whatever. There is, you know, only the, you have to follow the line, uh, the angle line. So now the, the table, look, the table, I see that the table actually start like 50 centimeters from the wall. So let's say 50 centimeters is gonna be somewhere here. So I just go with the lines, you know, uh, width of the, pa the table, of course. I check it how, uh, the width, the la how long it is. You know, and I do the rectangle over here. And now I erect the legs uh, up, you know, erect the, erect the up, legs up. And of course, I decide about the height of the table. So I do, let's say, 70, 80 centimeters, whatever it is. I put this because, as you remember, every is everything is in this K here, uh, as the same as it was in the previous plan, because you do first technical plan of the elevation, and here uh, the floor plan. So, uh, plus of the of the of the uh, you know uh, elements. So, look, I have the table here. So now, if I want to clarify everything, 
I just take a black now and I'm going to see it. Now I have, of course, the table. Okay, I have the form of the table, you know, goes there, goes there. Of course, if I decide there is some kind of larger part in the middle, I apply this and I have the legs, you know, whatever this, I see a little the other leg, and there's the other leg, there's the other leg, and now I have the bed here, you know, as you remember, we did the bed. Of course, I have some pillows here, so it's, you know, like partly covered by the pillows, you know, whatever. And here, of course, I have the other part of the bed, okay? My, uh, my stool became something like, you know, and this, of course, you have, if, you, if you have time to do it perfectly, you can do it. But it's just to show you how we should proceed. So basically, it's going to be something like, you know, this kind, okay? This tool. And uh, of course, this tapestry kind of soft stuff to sit on. And of course, this is the other part of the bed, you know, the side of the bed. It goes here and there. So you can have some kind of, you know, the design made here, whatever is the bed you want to plan to make. Here could be some kind of, you know, carpet, whatever. So if, if this is like this uh, elliptical, you remember that this is going to be the, this part of the circle going to be following the horizontal lines and the axe is going to follow, of course, the axe of the floor, okay, the angle of the floor. So now you just do this, this, verticals, verticals, you know, here and there. And of course, you just walk a little bit on this, uh, you know, you can have perfect drawing and just showing you how to, you know, process with the uh, floor plan, you know, uh, and everything. So you just, you know, I just repeat this so you can clearly see the difference, how it works. Okay, so it's kind of Mondrian painting here. And of course, here is the doors now. You can, you can put the doors, there is some kind of glass, the doors. You know, and you have thing there. And you have, of course, the floor line here. Okay, this is another, voila. So now you can, of course, if you want to divide anything like floor on the ceramic uh, squares, whatever you remember, there's not the same problem in the division as it was uh, previously when the two, three vanishing points or one vanishing point. Here, you just everywhere is 40. So if this is 40, this is 40. So, you know, the lines are parallel. So I have every time the same you know, um, um, uh, squares uh, deformated, of course, because it's the angle 45 degree. But like uh, here, I can put the rack, whatever, you know, and have the rack, all the lines parallel, of course, and everything. So this is approximately how you deal with, um, uh, how you create the isometric perspective from, uh, I remember, this is from the um, elevation plan, and this is from the floor plan. So it's two different, two different things, okay? Here I have, you know, the table like this, okay? Uh, I, look, I look this from the top more, okay? And the circle doesn't change here, okay? It's the same circle, okay? Uh, but on the walls, the circle changes, okay? It follows the axe, vertical axe follows the axe of the walls. And uh, here, um, the, the axis, actually, the longer axis horizontal and this, the, the horizontal line uh, axis is, stays horizontal, but the vertical aligns to the angle of the floor, 45 degrees in, the, in our case. So um, this perspective is very kind of useful for designers to just simply, you know, you can plan anything on the elevation plan or in the floor plan, but if you want to approach yourself a little bit closer to the reality, you need this kind of perspective to just, not necessarily always for the client, but it is for yourself to understand what you're going to do with the space you're designing. And if everything is fine, if the spaces and everything is, uh, is, is they are correct and everything is, you're going to have much more better judgment of, of the space and everything. And it's very easy to do because you measure the, 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 the room and you do kind of floor plan. You could, each wall actually you can represent differently. You know, you can have many elevation plans for each wall and you can represent them the same room but in different plans and you have very clear view after what you're going to make. So it's very useful uh, for designers and um, I, would, I would, you know, uh, um, suggest you to practice. First of all, the very little elements, very simple ones so you understand the principle how everything works and as you get much more uh, accustomed and, 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 you know, as you, as you master better all kind of angles and uh, projections in this um, isometric perspectives, um, then you add plans, you make much more complicated, um, you know, interiors. And to see, um, you know, how it works is, is really a very, very nice perspective to work with in and easy.
uh, without vanishing point and nothing. You just follow uh, parallel lines vertically, whatever, horizontally or transversal lines. So practice well. Thank you very much. And see you soon next.